Okay, behind that clump of foliage are the huts. There's uh, a bit of concrete here, a base here. And if we follow it round, those are the gun pits, which we're going to wander over to now. It's not a massive distance. On this field would have been the GL mat for the gun lane radar. So you've got the full width of the gun sight here. Sadly, we've got the wind coming towards us. We're going to take a walk around and have a closer look. Tracking around from the gun pits. So here's the corner of one of the gun pits here. You can see the tops of the ammunition stores exposed. You can see the remains of the earth embankment around it for extra protection, camouflage and what have you. It does actually poke above that now. Coming further around, there's another gun pit coming into view here. All buried away. Now, how effective was camouflage like this? Well, I was in my mid 40s before I found this place, so I would say with my nosiness and my um, general inquisitiveness. Look at that, there we go, look. It's a muntjac legging it across the field. See that? Startled a deer. So here we go, this is the edge of one of the gun pits, we're going to come up the earth embankment. Now that's a lot of earth to have had to shift. We come up and we're going to have a look inside now. Get up on the top, and here we see one of the gun pits in its entirety. Okay, so you've got an ammunition store. Ammunition store. Entrance to the crew shelter. Ammunition store. Ammunition store. Ammunition store. Ammunition store. Underneath me, entrance to the crew shelter. Another ammunition store. This is a 1941 pattern heavy anti aircraft battery emplacement. Down in the centre here. You have the metal work for fixing the guns and for levelling the guns so you've got the hold fasts. And there, rear centre of the crescent is a command control bunker. Ground level now, so I'm on the left, just out of shot to my left as you go around that corner is one of the ammunition shelters and you've got the rest going round. This end would have been protected with a heavy metal gate. Going forward down here, you can see the different parts. Metal. So that's to hold the gun in position. So you bolt it down, you've got uh, various bits. That bit there at the front, I think, is for levelling the gun. So this is just to secure it because you've got a massive recoil when this hits, when it goes off. So you've got a 3.7 inch shell going up 28,000 feet in the air. So there's a lot of explosive behind that. So here we go, having a look at one of the ammunition shelters. So the shells will be stacked in here. There's space between them for the air to circulate around, stop them corroding. So standing in the middle of the gun pit, looking towards the entrance, moving round, ammunition shelter, entrance to crew shelter, ammunition shelter, ammunition shelter, ammunition shelter. The earlier 1940s style emplacements had another open gate area there. Ammunition shelter, crew shelter entrance, ammunition shelter ammunition shower. So let's go and have a look inside. Okay, so I 
guess somebody was sitting here keeping an ear out for anything happening and you've got your doorway big room in here the interior is probably about 15 foot long by about 8 foot wide that's just as a guess there's been a bit of blue paint on here in the past you've got a hole in the ceiling for maybe a chimney a stove another one here So you've got a bit of a dog leg so that any explosion in the gun pit, any blast, isn't going to come and knock you off your feet. And the same on the other side. So there we go. So leaving this gun pit, you can see that you walk out into an area surrounded by others. Now this one here is full of junk, full of metal. We can't explore that. The other two are there. Essentially is a command and control bunker. This is quite a large structure, brick built or brick clad, not sure which. So gun position four, three, two, one, to the command bunker. The entrance is here, into the enclosure, and that's the bunker itself in there. The entrance to the left of that bricked up bit just behind the metal pipe. Now, these outside areas protected by walls would have held the plotter, the height finder, the range finder, the predictor, and so on. We have a look over the whole thing. It's quite a large structure. still in place. And your surroundings continue. Standing centrally, to my back is a bit that projects out. That's symmetrical. Here isn't though. There's a smaller open enclosure and a larger open enclosure that splits slightly. Continues round. And then that is the entrance to the command bunker. So you walk in there. So you enter the command bunker area there you walk round down the steps that would have been here i've got to do a bit of a jump and inside so let's go so go around various chambers and rooms in here so Oh, look at this. So, there's an entrance and exit way here. Steps, small room. 12 foot square, maybe. Windows with the glass, all shattered. Uh, 
over time going through got a second room similar size again with the windows there you've got gaps for the wiring you've got ventilation up there and we go through to the main bunker via this room so we've got a third room here this window is facing towards the gun sites the gun pits got a window here and this faces outwards this is the main nerve center which is uh, rather dark as you can see this little room here in the front this is the part of the bunker that projects forward towards the front there's a gap there a window or perhaps a small doorway escape doorway even who knows coming round on the bunker itself in the main area that measures probably 30 feet you can see another old window and go through and there it is now there is a is a bit of a cutting down there with what looks like steps coming around further you have another room here 12 foot square and another one with steps leading out some metal hooks on the wall large window here a large window here leading out to the main field around to the front projection of the bunker exiting there's an overhang here a bit of shelter hooks on a wall for hanging something and that if we come out is a tour of the outside So this gun pit here we've got a load of brushwood and off cuts from the uh, wood yard that's been operating here they've clearly been having fires there's a lot of smoke damage to the ammunition recesses it's a pity but i guess everything has to get a use it is eight years after the war after all Control bunker, left hand gun pit, the access road for bringing the guns in and out. LH1 is a 1941 pattern heavy anti aircraft establishment. It's four gun pits arranged in a clover leaf holding the Vickers QF 3.7 inch anti aircraft gun. It's fired to a height of 28,000 feet. There's not many still remaining in the country that are of this quality. It's a great shame that it's um, fallen into such disrepair, but it's still pretty much complete.